Hello again, this is Dan Gage uh, with another harmonica instructional video. Uh, YouTube is getting pretty saturated with some awesome, awesome material. Um, for the beginning, intermediate, and, and advanced harmonica players, there is just an absolute wealth of information out there. So I've been thinking about this one for a while, and um, maybe it's a different angle on, on, on teaching. I call this one low-hanging fruit techniques for the advanced beginner intermediate harmonica player. A lot of you guys, I, I meet you out at, at blues jams and, and, and I see you play and, and you've got a lot of fundamentals down, um, but when it comes to soloing, uh, you're not really sure what to do. So I, I was thinking about putting together some of the, some of the more basic things that, that I think everybody should really have in their bag of tricks. Um, so I call this low-hanging fruit. This is part one, uh, the, the licks. Okay, so some licks that you can rely on, and we'll, we'll talk more about philosophy in, in part two. Um, so let's just start with a, with a very basic thing called a two-hole shake. Okay, everybody will teach it to you. A lot of you will halfway learn it, um, but you'll not learn it well enough. This is something you have to practice, but it is so easy. Okay, four draw, five draw, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, and it's hard because you have to really define those, those notes, but... Okay, you can shake your head, you can shake the harmonica, I don't personally care, it depends on if you're holding the microphone and you want to move it too much, or maybe you, you, you're driving and you don't really want to shake your eyeballs, that's why I shake with my hands a lot. Okay. okay, it's a great lick to use when you get stuck. Okay, these are all great licks to get used when you get stuck. You're not sure what's going to happen next, maybe you run out of ideas, you're not sure what to play over the next thing, well, you know, you're out, you know. <laughs> And your mind goes blank, so you just go. And it gives you a second while you're up there to, to, to figure out what to do next. Okay, the two-hole shake, low-hanging fruit. Oh, by the way, what does low-hanging fruit mean? It's the easy stuff. Okay, picture a tree. You know, you don't have, you don't need a ladder to get to the uh, to the fruit that's right up there. You can pick it. It's the easy stuff. We talk about it in the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, things like penicillin. Things like. Uh, aspirin, okay? They were easy to discover, you know, they just sort of fell in people's laps. Now they have to come up with a lot more technology to get drugs. That's my day job. So, low-hanging fruit for the harmonica player next, okay? I call it uh, the cotton lick. A lot of people, um, Sonny Boy Williamson too did it a lot, but um, James Cotton seemed to make a signature out of it. So, I'll play it for you real quick. <laughs> Okay, a lot like that initial blues lick. Okay. Um, three draw, four draw bent, three draw, four blow. Alternate the four blow, uh, four draw bent, excuse me. Okay, so we're going from three, three to four draw. Adding that four blow. And bend it every other time. <laughs> okay? James Cotton. Okay, you guys don't know that? Get some James Cotton records and you'll hear him do it about a thousand times. But it's awesome. Everybody loves it because you can you can repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and you don't run out of air and you become a pro harmonica player that night because nobody in the audience gets bored of that one. I don't know why, but they like it. <laughs> okay, remember it? James Cotton Lake. Learn it. Low hanging fruit. Okay, another one. Manish Boy. I don't know how many of you guys I've seen do this. Everybody, you know, you're up, you're up, and you're playing through your shuffle, and somebody calls Manish Boy, or even Hoochie Coochie Man, and you guys have no idea what to do. <laughs> it's like the easiest lick ever. Sorry. Point is, guys, put some time into these really simple things, and, and you'll become like a ten times better harmonica player overnight. Well, as long as it takes you to practice them. So, Manish Boy. <laughs> Two draw, 
four blow. Three blow. Three draw. Two draw. Bend that three a little bit. But you beginners don't worry about it. Okay, stops. Learn that one, please. Please. And learn other ones too. Hoochie Coochie Man's in first position if anybody was 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 curious. Okay. Kim Wilson Lick. Um, you'll hear Kim do this a lot in the middle of his solos. And um, I don't know if it's his lick or not, but I just know he uses it a lot. Okay. Three draw, four draw. Three draw, twice. Three draw bent twice to four. Okay, so from what we've learned, this is basically almost a solo you've got. Okay, simple, simple stuff, guys. Low hanging fruit. I really encourage you to learn these licks. Okay, so we've looked at two whole shakes. James Cotton Lick, the Manish Boy Stop, and a Kim Wilson Lick. Those are some low-hanging fruit for you guys. Um, basic licks, not complex, um, but they require some practice to get accurate. So just as a little fun thing, I'm going to try to now plug in this little microphone and pretend I'm playing Amplified for 30 seconds or so. And it probably sounds really bad. Probably sounds really bad, but what the hell. Um, Stay tuned for Philosophy Low Hanging Fruit uh, Part 2.